Hi guys. So on the last video, I told you guys that through your subscription, you get a secret code that you can buy things um, through the website. So I got the box. Ready? Okay. So this is from Casket Emporium. I know it's backwards again, but okay. So I'm going to show you what I bought because I went through, you can scroll through and add them to your box. So I live in the United States. It um, takes longer to get to us because it's coming from the UK. You pay a little bit more in shipping, but it's absolutely 100% worth it. So this is the one that I was really excited about. It's an embroidery kit. I love to do embroidery. So, oh, look, it's got a little sticker on the back. Their attention to detail is just absolutely incredible. And I love it. I'm going to mess up the paper either. This one comes with a little loop. The embroidery. Look how cute that is! That's so cute. Okay. And then, of course, you get your... Oh, it comes with needles. You got like that. And three different colors. So, you get your paper that tells you how to do it. Absolutely love it. And after I get it done, I'll show you guys what it looks like because I love seeing the before and afters of pretty much everything. I watch craft shows, I watch do it yourself DIY stuff. And every time I do, I, it give, my husband doesn't like me to do it because when I do, it gives him, I make a bigger list for him than I do it myself. So that's the first thing that I order. And then this one's just in a regular bag with a huge plastic sticker on it. It's been a while, so I don't really remember what I ordered. <laughs> this says, I have the courage to keep on going throughout any hardship. I am growing. Let's see what it is. I think that was just a little special thing that she put in there. I love everything about these boxes. <gasps> Look how cute that is. It says casket crew on it. You can't really see it very well. It's inside this little inside the little bag. The power of acceptance will be mine. What I cannot change will turn out fine. Look at that. These are cool. And I think this is what these are the wax get, the wax melts. Let's see the little bottoms on there. It's probably the pen, because I told you that I love pens, so I'll probably for the pen. get some of the popcorn off of there. This is a little trivet. It's made of wood. You can set your candles. You could set anything. Your abalone shell if you're burning sage or um, incense. Anything like that. As I will it, so mote it be. Absolutely love this. This was from one of the previous boxes and I was very happy that it was still in there. And going on a cruise so you got to have a lanyard to put your cruise card on so look at that it's got a cauldron it's got a pentagram a moon a planchette potion bottle oh, crystal ball look at that It's just got the regular little clip on there. So I bought that. So I can wear that with my other stuff. Okay. So a little something about me. I love, love, love cute. So I ordered. This is a little 
is one of the keys from the box. Deb and Ella puts together some of the most amazing boxes. It's so pretty. I love the little tassel. This says Witch Casket Exclusive. Look, key on there. Keys have long been believed to offer protection from evil, so carry this enchanted key as an amulet to shield you as you open the doors of opportunity. You can also hold this key during meditation if you feel your path is blocked and you need to find a solution to unlock your path and move forward. Wow. How many of us need keys? This, this year, we're in the first week of March and this year I've been sick the whole entire year, literally. We've had COVID twice. We need this to unblock us, so we need to go in there, order this. Just on a regular day, you need unblocking. What else we got in here? And we have another parchment. Look at this. The thing about these parchments, I really don't want to mess up the sticker, but you know you have to. I'm trying to, I don't want to mess up the sticker, and I don't want to mess up the parchment, so I try to do it really slow. Okay, so this one. Is for your money bowls. So you have a little bowl, like I was telling, I use the abalone shell to burn um, incense and herbs and anything like that. So money bowls are a powerful way to set your intention and attract money and abundance into your life. Many people choose to have a candle at the center of their money bowl so they can light it and meditate, visualizing a successful outcome. But like everything in a money bowl, this is optional. And you can add magical herbs, crystals, amulets, affirmations, coins, banknotes, etc. And anything else that resonates with you can also be added. Before adding anything, the item should be charged with intent. Here are some examples of herbs and crystals you might add to your bowl. And it's um, the herbs are flaxseed, jasmine, juniper, mint, rice, wheat, marjoram, allspice, basil, bay leaves, chamomile, cinnamon, cloves, and dill. Crystals are citrine, clear quartz, green aventurine, iolite, jade, malachite, pyrite, and tiger's eye. Once your bowl is finished and you have sat with it, meditated and visualized your outcome. You can continue to feed your bowl over coming days, adding in more and more items imbued with your intention to make this bowl more powerful again. This is optional. You can keep the bowl until you feel the bowl has served its purpose. Keep fire safety in mind if using candles. So this, I'm gonna, we're going to frame this and put it right over there on my altar. So, um, I've been doing witchcraft for about 25 years, and one of my spells I did was a money spell. So I bought the money candle and I burned the money candle. So it was on my altar and. I left it to burn. Don't ever do that. So I walked away and I went to do stuff. And when I came back, it had the paper wrap around it that had the, the incantations and things that you say. That paper part was on fire. So I grabbed it with my hand and then I had, you know, a bowl on my altar. So I put the bowl under it because I was worried about the wax coming over it. You know, I wanted to go take it and put it under the water, just set the fire out. So when I did that, I guess I stepped off of the carpet wrong and my arm caught on fire, right? There's third degree burn. So my whole entire arm all the way around was on fire. So that was terrifying. I had put pure aloe on it. I had an aloe plant outside. So I took the aloe and then I just put it on there and I worked at the hospital at the time. So we had a, a radiology nurse and she was checking it. And you know, she's like, it's looking good. It healed very, very well. I did not go to the doctor, which I don't suggest that. But if you do go to the doctor, they actually scrub it off with a wire brush so that you can take all the old skin off. But with, like when I put, I run it under cold water and the wax fused on my wrist. This is my left hand. My wax fused on my wrist. So when I was started to peel it, it started to peel my skin up. So um, long story short, the money candle worked. I came into a hundred thousand dollars and 
all of us know if you do any kind of witchcraft, there is always a price to pay. My best friend died and he left me the $100,000. So just to heed a warning, you do it, you're going to get it, but you may not get it the way that your intentions have been set. So paid with it with skin, paid with it with a life. And um, so money spells do work, just so you know. <laughs> Next thing that I bought, this is magic wand. <gasps> okay, my husband makes magic wands, and there's a few over there on my altar that I may go get in just a minute to show you guys. That may be for another video because there's a few of them over there, and I can show you the incense burner that he made also for another video. <gasps> wow, that's even prettier than I saw online. That's all peanut stuff. Okay, so it's a magical sapeel wood wand, the archetypal magical tool used to channel and direct energy and cast protective circles. Lovingly crafted from sapeel wood known for its strength and energy. Look at that wand. Wow. It's so beautiful. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the detail, but that amazing. So, you know, just kind of the length of like my finger to my hand, so. What is that? Maybe seven, eight inches. Oh, crackers. Right, they rolled into the couch. I'll get that in a minute. That was so pretty. Thank you, lover. <laughs> there it is right there. Oh, that's so pretty. I will be using that. And it's really light wood, so it's not too heavy. That's incredible. It was a really good purchase. So there's things on there that you might want. There's things on there that I got that you may not want, but they're, these really spoke to me and I was super excited because when I first put the thing in the basket, it said, um, so when you order, it says um, UK and then it's got another one and then it says everyone else. So I'm everyone else because I'm the United States and we're outside of um, Europe. So it said, you can't purchase it if you're outside. So I just kept adding to my basket. I was like, well, we'll see at the end. Cause hopefully if it's, you know, over whatever monies, it'll be, you know, they'll be able to send it to me. So I did, and here it is. But it does say at the bottom, um, not shippable to everyone else, which, you know, that's me. So I'm very happy that this actually came and look at that pendant. Pull it back so you can see it better. Wow, it's very light. That was my son. He's playing a game. <laughs> and I love it's got the cauldron at the bottom. Look at it. See the little cauldron at the bottom? And then you got smoke coming up, and the smoke forms two little horns at the top. That's so cool. So when I saw it online, I thought, oh, that looks like that's gonna be really heavy because you know it looks like it's made out of like iron or whatever, but it's really Super light. Wow. All right. That is all that's in my box. Let's see. You want to sneak peek at one of the wands? Um, I'll do another video on all the other stuff. Let's see what we got over here. Put all this back in here. Can you grab me one of the wands? Made. Yes, and this is what I open my I open the boxes with. This is made out of deer horn. I have a lot of friends that hand make things. We hand make things, so he hand carved this. This is actually this was made. I'll just do the one. Which one? This one. Either one. Okay, I'll do this one. So this is just a sneak peek because I'm going to make another video of the things that he's made. I'm going to show you my altar and all the things that I have on my altar. But this is. What was this made of? It's leather wrapped. And that, I believe, is out of a grapevine. A grapevine, and then he put the crystal on it. So that way your hand fits over the leather part. 
This is so pretty. He's hand carved all of this around. Yeah, he's made a lot of my magical items. We walk around outside, we find pieces, and then we just make beautiful things. So, Thanks for joining us today. Like and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I'll have more videos because I did the February box. I did the box that I just got from what I ordered, and the um, March box is coming because as from shipping from there to here, it takes about a month to get to me so we'll probably be doing the march in april if it comes early i'll open it when it comes but i just wanted to let you guys see thank you for watching bye